What up y'all, it's your girl Naz, I'm back with the, another video and today I'm basically going to be doing a little small makeup routine that I do every now and then um, when I feel like I want to put a little makeup on or something. Nothing serious, it's just a little everyday look. I'm basically just going to be doing brows, a little foundation, a little contour, maybe some highlight, you know. But stay tuned. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for all the supporters who have subscribed to my channel and liking my videos and getting my views up. I appreciate y'all. And yeah, let's get into this video. First, I always start with my brows. With every makeup look I do, I start with my brows. I'm just going to be taking this eyebrow pomade and a little applicator brush. And this shade I'm using is Espresso Brown. It's like a really dark chocolate-like brown. So all you do is you brush out your brows real nice before you apply the um <laughs> the eyebrow pomade. Make sure you always brush out your brows. And basically what you do is you're going to trace or outline your brow shape. I always start with going under my brow, but do whatever works for you. Everything is not for everybody. But me personally, I always start with going under my brow. It works easier for me. May not work for you, but hopefully it does. Okay, and usually when I'm outlining like this, I don't go all the way over with the brown right here. It helps with shading, which you will see at the end when I get done with the brow part. And I'm just really going to do the same thing to the other brow. And yeah. Once you have outlined your eyebrows, they should look like this. And then the next step, basically, you're going to fill it in. Using little strokes. Just like this. Just gonna continue to feel both brows. This this really doesn't take that long. Well, if you're a beginner, it probably does. But after you get the hang of it, y'all, I promise it is not that hard. And yeah. Boom. All right. And the next step, we are going to be. This is where the shading comes in. I mean, this part is kind of tricky until you get the hang of it. It's gonna be kind of hard, but it's not that hard. Once you just you just gotta practice, basically. Once you practice, practice and make perfect. And another thing, usually, if you want your eyebrows to be really even, the unibrow method worked for me at one point in time. But your brows are not gonna be the exact same every time you do them. So don't be expecting it at all, cause my brows are always not the same when I do them. Some days they're shaped different. My arch might be higher, maybe lower. You never know what you're going to get. So right now, I'm going to basically just brush right here at the front of my brow until it's shaded out. And blend it real good. You don't want it to look like a block at the beginning of your eyebrow. You want it to be shaded real nice. Look like it's going into the darker part. And once you've shaded the front, just go through the whole brow. This is what it kind of looks like, if you can see it. Now I'm just going to do the same thing to the other one. And I'm just going to keep shading until they get to how I preferably like them. 
everybody's not gonna like their brows to look the same because everybody's face is not the same so you just blend and shade and shape to your preference don't try to copy an exact look of somebody else my next step i'm going to take this little brush this little eyebrow brush and my concealers and i'm going to conceal the top and the bottom of my brow me personally i like to go a little lighter under the brow and something closer to my skin tone at the top so when you blend in your foundation and stuff and uh and all up here it'd be easier to blend it instead of trying to go over that really like concealer at the top over your, with your foundation so i'm just going to basically squeeze a little bit of this onto my hand just the light one but don't go too too light y'all under your brow it's not cute and then this the one it's kind of closer to my skin tone maybe a little darker And I'm just going to take, I'm going to start under the brow with the light one. I'm just going to, you're basically just outlining and tracing it. And cleaning up the extra where you maybe messed up or anything. Basically correcting your mistakes. So you're just going to go up under there. Kind of clean it up. Make it look neat. That's all you're really doing. And I'll show y'all this when I'm done. This is the final look for my brows. I have concealed them, cleaned them up, made them look neat. And yeah, now I'm basically going to take my beauty blender and go around over the excess concealer and blend it out around the brow. So I don't look crazy. And then make sure you go in the middle. And yeah, after you blend that, I'm not doing a normal little makeup routine like with liquid foundation and all that. I'm just doing something simple on the go. So right now, I'm going to take a little concealer and put it under my eye and a couple dark spots on my face in my dark areas anywhere you want to put it. Yep. And then, I'm going to take my um beauty blender and i'm just going to blend it all together on my skin real even It helps to look up when going under the eye because you get completely under the eye then. I put concealer under my eye 
Because I have small bags. Because I do not sleep like I'm supposed to yell. Because Sila helps with that. I mean, getting a perfect shade of concealer, you can go with a concealer that's close to your skin tone, but me personally, it's better to go with something lighter than your skin tone. I'm not just saying get something super, super bright, but you do need to go maybe two shades under. No more than two. I'm just, yeah, one or two shades, that's it. Don't go nothing lighter than one or two shades. Okay, and once that's blended out, I'm going to take my powder foundation. And y'all, this works just as good as liquid. When you on the go and ain't got time to um sit there and blend all that liquid makeup on, I get you some powdered makeup. You got a little applicator in there and everything, and just rub it on and keep it pushing. Okay, now it's time to apply the foundation. This I use Fit Me. I ain't even saying none of the product's name, y'all. I'm sorry. But I use Fit Me Powder and Liquid Foundation. It's, it's the best to me. And the concealers I use are uh, Pro Conceal. The light one I use is in the shade Warm Honey. I got this at my local hair supply store and beauty supply store. You can get them at Walmart. It's what, no, I take that lot back. You cannot get it at Walmart. But at most of your local beauty supply stores, you can find this one. And the darker one I use is in the shade Toast. And there's that one. It's LA Pro Girl Conceal. It's my favorite concealer. But yeah, and so now we're going to take our foundation. And it comes with a little applicator up under there. And I'm just going to basically apply all over my face make sure your concealer is blended out real good that you put on your face before you put especially using powder foundation because if it's not blended out good you're going to be able to see that big patch of concealer under that foundation blending is everything when you put on makeup y'all you either gonna put your makeup on and look like a whole new person and be flawless or you gonna look like you casket sharp. It's all about how you blend it. And the reason I like to um use the lighter concealer under my eyebrow right there, because when you pack the um rest of it on or do your eyeshadow or what you're doing, you're always gonna have a little highlight right under there. But yeah, I'm just gonna Continue with this and put it all over my face. Now that I've went all over my face with my foundation, I am going to take my contour palette. This is um, a contour palette from Black Radiance. I got this at Walmart for like $7.99, $8.99, around there. This is what it looked like on the inside. This is a shade medium to dark. They also have one light to medium. I use medium to dark because of the shade of brown right here. And the one that's light to medium to me, it doesn't really just do what I want it to do. I prefer this one. Again, it's my preference. You have to do what you're comfortable with on your face. So I'm just going to really go up just under my cheekbone with it. Like that. And go up a little bit with it on the side of my face. It does not take much, y'all. At all. When doing your makeup, you do not have to go overboard. And I like to do um, contour my nose with this. And again, it does not take that much. And there you go. Then I'm going to take some Fit Me. Y'all, I love Fit Me products. They so good. But this is a Fit Me 
a loose finishing powder. I love it. It works great with my skin. Uh, and I have sensitive skin, y'all. So all these products I use, they work good for me. So if you have sensitive skin and are looking for some good makeup products to try on your face and practice with, all of the products that I've shown you so far will be great for you because I have sensitive skin as well. And right now, I'm just going to take the Fit Me Powder and put it under my eyes. And a little bit on my chin. On my nose. And a little on my forehead where my light areas are. And boom. Okay, I'm going to let this sit for a minute. And once it's done sitting, I will take a brush and just... Brush it all off. And yeah, I'll show y'all it when it's done. Okay, y'all. I've let it sit for a little hot minute. Now I'm just going to take my little fluffy brush. And I'm going to just brush it all off. I'll go in circles. When I'm brushing it off. I just go under my eye real gently. And get it off. It don't take much. And up my nose. And y'all, I'm not doing any cotton foundation. I mean, um, eyeshadow or lashes and nothing like that. Because this is, again, just an everyday look. And plus, I wear glasses. So when I wear my glasses, I don't really like to have that stuff on because you really can't see it. And the lashes, can't put my glasses on really good with the lashes. Because I, when I do wear lashes, I like to wear long lashes. And they don't do well with my glasses. So, and now, I'm, it's the, I'm not doing any type of lipstick either. I'm just doing a little lip gloss. yep i meant to this is a nyx uh finishing spray i meant to do that before i put the lip gloss on but i have really oily skin and this usually helps it stay help my skin not get oily as fast and that's also why I used uh, that finishing powder because it also helps with my oily skin. And right now I'm just going to let this dry and set in and do what it's going to do. Alright y'all, this is the final look of my little natural routine. A little something simple to do in the mornings when you're on the go. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel and stay tuned because your girl got more coming for y'all. Like, you don't want to miss it. Also, turn your post notifications on because when you do that, they'll notify you and let you know when your girl posts another video. Then you won't be left out at all. The, don't forget to support, support, and keep supporting. Um, go follow me on Instagram at Kanaja Weaver, Snapchat, Kanaja underscore Weaver. And you can find your girl on Facebook at... Kanaja Weaver. It's not that hard to find me, y'all. Tell your friends, tell your mama, your aunties, your grandma, your papa, your uncles, everybody. Your little cousins. They'll be on YouTube anyways. Tell them to go subscribe to my channel and show some love to your girl because, you know what? I'm mom and I'm lit and I love everybody. So, stay tuned for the next video and I'll catch you later.